What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is just a quick video to show you guys three tips to fighting in Fortnite that I find really useful. I use them all the time. They're actually applicable in game, not just in creative to you, so. If you guys did enjoy the video and you want to catch more of me, I stream almost every day on my Twitch. Link will be in the description. Let's get into it. So tip number one is going to be your movement during fighting. A mistake I see a lot of people do is that they don't move. They just, they, they'll go for an edit and they just sit here like a sitting duck. And it's really easy to get hit when you do that. So 90% of the time when you're in a fight, you're going to want to take right hand peeks because obviously it reduces the chances of you getting hit. So say I'm making a peanut butter, right? Obviously you're not going to stand here, you're out in the open. As you make the edit, you're going to want to run to the left side of the box. That protects you if they want to go for another shot. And it gives you a right hand peek. As you're editing, if you have edit on release, you're going to have to look here as you walk forward. You as you edit, walk forward, and you can go for the jumping shot. That prevents them from pre-firing. And you have a nice right hand peek here. Same thing goes with windows. Instead of editing, sitting out here, giving them a free shot, you're gonna edit the window, run to the left. You have a right hand peek here. You can crouch even, change elevation, and it's a free right hand peek. Another mistake I see a lot of people do is that they, for some reason, automatically go to doing this edit, the bottom left and right edits. And I don't understand why, because 99% of the time, you're never going to need this edit. The only time I can think of where you would need this edit is if I'm editing and someone jumps right away, you can hit their toes, but that's literally it. Otherwise, there's pretty much no reason you should be doing edits this open. Obviously, with the exception of peace control, there's no reason you should be doing these edits. <laughs> it's almost always more beneficial to be doing a peanut butter or a window edit or a top row edit something like that where it gives you a way to like i said in the last tip peek safely and also with a right hand peek drop the third and final tip is a pretty simple peace control method that i'm actually surprised a lot more people don't utilize and it's simply that you can place cones over walls All right, so this can be used in obviously a ton of ways. First off is obviously the simplest one. If someone drops on your wall here, they're gonna try to take it, edit out the two top, place a cone over your wall, and they're trapped. Then obviously you can grab some more piece control here, and uh, they're dead, box like fish. Now, another way you can use this is in build fights actually. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I've never really done a tips and tricks video like this before, so if you have any suggestions on how to improve them, uh, let me know down below, and uh, have a good day.